of chat. Hi. Uh, good morning. Good bruning. Good good morning. This is going to be a short one. Also, I don't have my microphone out. This is going to be a short one. There's nothing going on today. It's Sunday, and it's a day of rest, and that's the whole point. I've got a cat who's trying to eat my... Don't eat my shorts, cat. Look. I've got a cat. She's a meow. 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 That's a good meow. It's a very good meow. Anyway, good morning, everyone. I'm just tuning in because that's my requirement for the day. Um, hello and goodbye. I am just going to be... Hello, Batuhan Durman. I am just here for a few moments to say hello as I am out here getting my sunlight, chilling and chatting with a kitty cat and um, hanging out and saying hi. I guess I'll be in, I'll be in here for a couple of minutes. Hi, Willie. Hello, 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 Fi. Hi, hi. Oh, my cat is is incoming. Hello, hello, kitten mittens, meows. This is Cinnamon. Cinnamon is a very cuddly cat, and and she is a good girl. Yes, that is a good cat. Meow, meow. She's gonna dive into my lap now, probably, and and be a goofball. Anyway, um, it's a lovely Sunday afternoon. Yesterday was Friendsgiving. So we had a bunch of people over and ate an inordinate amount of food. Um, just uh, just extraordinary. A really exceptional turkey. Fantastic honey baked ham. There were like eight pies. Oof. Oh, the best damned Brussels sprouts that I've ever had in my life. My um, my roommate makes the, the best damn spicy Brussels sprouts in the entire world. They're like cooked down in some, some incredible sauce. Yo! Yo, yo, yo! What's up? What's up? Oh, goodbye, cat. Okay. Bye. Bye, I guess. Later. Yep. Just go ahead and go ahead and lick your own stomach. That's that's good. You do that, cat. Um, so it's the next morning. I'm I'm tired. I took the, the, the biggest shit I've taken in a year. Um maybe a year's worth of shit all at once. That was pretty good. Um today's a day of rest. I recorded Cyberpunk Edge Runners yesterday. It went really well, I think. It was a, a good good episode and a good recording. And um, I'll get I'll get along toward editing that soon. Uh, BTW, I forgot to mention yesterday, but Nana Tokaru also has two live action shows and an anime OVA. Do with that information what you will. I will do plenty with that information. I did go and I read the first um or the first solid few chapters uh, of Oh oh it's a squirrel. Get it! Kill it! Get the squirrel! Get it! Murder that rodent. Murder that rodent. Yo, what's up, Piertic? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Rodent? Oh. Oh, hello, other cat. Hello, cat duo. Little monsters. Little monsters out hunting. Meowsers, meowsers. Okay. Um, anyway. Um, I did read the first couple of chapters to, of uh, uh, Nana and Kaoru, and that is some spicy meatball, uh, is, is I suppose all I can really say about it. What else am I going to say besides that is a spicy, a spicy meatball? It's, um, that's a very sexy manga. <laughs> and, and something that I have to be quite careful with, because I am, I am intending to avoid pornography and as many instances as possible, and it is right on that edge, um, for sure. But I, I, I do, I do enjoy it. I do like it. Oh, what'd you get? That was a leaf. That was a leaf cat. Meow. Meow ball. Meow ball. Hello, Aaron. My cat is chilling next to me. Good. Good. Well, I'm I'm outside with these with these monsters, so they're out here to eat and kill and destroy and tear, rip and tear and shred and murder. I'm just getting my sunlight. You know the morning the morning routine, the ritual. Um, definitely tired. Definitely tired. Definitely turkey has an effect. 
Um, I did, <laughs> I did get a wing. <laughs> I was first around to get turkey, and I was like, I want dark meat. He's like, "Where? what part do you want? I was like, I want the wing. He starts trying to cut meat off the wing. I'm like, no, I want the wing. So I ate the whole ass wing, all the delicious fat and the cartilage and the, the mmm, yummy, 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 yummy good stuff. Any drama yesterday or all good vibing? It was good vibing, man. It was it was good vibing. The closest thing to drama was that there was a it was it was really interesting. I think to watch. There was a couple who was there, and they were getting pretty tipsy. And the girl in the comp in the couple, it, I can't remember how it came up. It came up in some in some way, but she ended up bringing it up, and she said something along the lines of like, you know, sometimes you just like to get slapped around. And she said that to her uh, to her to her friend or to her uh, boyfriend. Sometimes you just like to get slapped around. She was only half joking about it like she was definitely floating the idea of of some kinkier stuff and i was standing right there i was like oh now that's that's bendora's box is open you got to communicate that and he was completely shut down to it like completely was like no darling we don't talk about those things we don't speak and it was just really interesting to watch as she became very very literally and and directly crestfallen as what i think was a legitimate uh uh it wasn't well formed or, or well expressed, but a, a legitimate expression got just hard shut down and repressed. It was very interesting, but that was the most dramatic thing that happened during the night um, by a pretty long shot. Everything went everything went really well. Absolutely, Thanksgiving is either great or hell. Uh, this is a this is a good friend group. This is a good friend group, so it was great. It was great. We had we had a couple of people over who very clearly don't socialize enough and were in the way that when you look at a, a plant that's been dry too long and the 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 dirt around them is cracked and the plant itself is starting to wither it's that sort of feeling about the souls of those people is that they need some um some water of socialization a little bit of water of communication or something a little bit of a little bit of nutrient density um from speaking to other people and they just don't get it, and and so it was it was really it was it was really good to give that to them and to be around and be communal, and to watch as they sort of like went from standoffish to more opening up and um, more a part of the conversation and more a part of the the gathering, if you will. It's an important thing to be around other people, and it's something that I've gotten to do a lot over the last few days because we've been in that sort of holiday zone. It's more than a little bit important, I think. I think it's maybe fundamental for our existence, maybe fundamental for our, our mental well-being. Invite the old woman over? Uh, 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 they were they were invited over. They, they had a different thing that they were doing um, this week, unfortunately. But I, I did, I actually saw um, the husband, I saw her husband outside, um, out front this morning, just was wandering around and, and caught him in conversation and ended up chatting for a little bit. Um, it's very nice to know the people around you because, well, then when you see the people who are around you, it's a, a friendly and positive environment and, and a friendly moment. It's like, wow, hey, what's up? How you, how you been? How's the wife? How's the thing? How's the leg? How's the, you know, how's the, how's the whatever's going on? How's the work? How's the this? How's that? And you can, you can talk about the things as though you're real people. As opposed to walking around as though everyone around you is dangerous, which they are, or as though everyone around you is like, you know, a problem or something. Hi! Hi, Cyber Joker. What's up? Anyway, um, I'm tired. I need to go take a shower. I've got some, like, my nose is messed up. It's partly from the smoke from the fire. Good day today, you. It's it's a it's the good start, man. It's just morning, so I don't know about good day total. I got some plans for today. Um, they'll be interesting plans. I won't share them with you. <laughs> um, but we'll we'll see, man. We'll see how everything plays out. <sighs> today has been good so far. Yesterday was lovely multiple days of prep for it, and then it all sort of came to a head. It's very funny that, you know, it takes a couple days to cook all the food, and then as soon as it's like, all right, all the food is go ready, go, it takes like 
takes like 10 minutes and people have just gotten their food, have eaten their food and are already exhausted and are already just like, uh, like plans for the channel or for yourself, for myself, for, for what I plan to do today. You're lucky I cannot stand either my left or right neighbor. Hmm. That sucks. Maybe you should move. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should move. Feels like neighbors are important. It's part of the community that you're in. Or maybe, maybe it's one of those things where you're actually the problem and your neighbors are perfectly fine. You never know. No, I, I kid. It, it, it's, it's, you know, I'm going to assume that you're a, a well-adjusted human being and would know that. But, um, sometimes it happens. Anyway, I'm, I'm just here for 10 minutes and we're heading toward 11. I don't know my neighbors and it's been two years. See, that's a damn shame. That's a damn shame and that's something that you can fix. And, and what you'll find is that they're people and that they're people who aren't that different from you and that you should probably go and talk to them. Neighbors matter. Neighbors matter. Go, go talk to the people around you. Figure out who you're living near because they're real people with whole lives. And you might be surprised. They might work in the same fucking industry that you do and you don't even know it. You know, with work from home the way that it is, you would have no idea. How? There's no reason to start a convo? Yes, there is. The reason to start a convo is to have a convo. And the way to do it is the way that people have always done it. Come over with a bis with a gift bag or a gift basket. Yeah. Make a sacrifice. Make an offering. T -t 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 Hi. Hello. Um, make a sacrifice. Make an offering. <laughs> the classic is a bottle of wine. Or invite them over for dinner. That's the move. Invite them over for a hangout. Make it happen. Nobody's ever going to initiate socialization with you. You have to be the one to initiate it. You can't imagine that that people are going to just... Um, one has the ego of Musk and the other side is an old couple who are horrendous personalities. Well, that's fucking rough, dog. You got to move. <laughs> you got to get the heck out of there. Move to Greece. <laughs> move, move to Greece. Half and half. One we get along with decently well. The other one we don't. Hey, that's, the, that's a classic. I mean, we got neighbors across the street that we don't get along with well. But they don't get along with anybody well. It's you know they got they got some issues. They got some some problemos. It's important though. It's important. You're living near these people. You're truly sharing space with them, to some extent. And um, we don't spend nearly enough energy talking to the people around us. And and what happens is when you spend that energy, when you give people the little bit of attention that they need and deserve, it seems to explode outward into joy and and like interesting returns that you don't expect into your own life. It really feels to me like the most effective selfish behavior that you can do is the altruistic behavior. In every in every circumstance, as far as I can tell, the most selfish thing you can do is be selfless. I just know it's also a cultural difference. In Poland, we would never invite a neighbor over or suddenly show up with a gift. I, I'm aware that that's the case in in multiple Scandinavian countries, as well as um, in in Poland and elsewhere. Hello, what's the question for this stream? There is not one Hixar. This stream is going to be too short for for that to be a, a good idea. Um, so, uh, and I'm actually going to I need to 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 end off now because I do have things to go and start doing. So, I will say thank you for the rapid joining of the 15 or so humans who have popped on in. There's a quick high and bye, um, quick high and bye, just to say, you know, communicate with people around you, it's important, and, uh, yeah, make, making good friends while smoking makes sense. I do think, I was talking to some other people about this, I think that joining something in your environment is the thing to do. I've, I've turned the gym into a social experience, but for a lot of people it doesn't work. The best thing that I can think of so far is taking a fitness class of some kind or joining jujitsu um, or music lessons, maybe um, stuff, stuff like that. <laughs> I was on Reddit the other day and saw someone post about their life in Thessaloniki. Nice. What did they say? Kikori? Was it like, Oh, I hate this place. It's trash. Everybody's, everybody's the worst because I, I liked, I Tinder passported into Thessaloniki and it's all very cool people who seem like they want to have a lot of, a lot of a good time. Um, maybe some art clubs. Yeah. Take an art class, a pottery class, a cooking class. Actually, you know, there are probably a dozen cooking schools within, within 20 miles of you and you don't even know it. 
and and you can for very cheap go and cook a full meal there and then eat the full meal and invite somebody to go with you if you want to that's the move man that's the move anyway I, i'm gonna wait another 30 seconds for a response from kikuri regarding thessaloniki but but otherwise i'm gonna then uh, uh then i'm gonna call it because 15 minutes is plenty and more <laughs> Cooking class noted. Yeah, um, there's a place. There's a place relatively near me that does um, that does cooking classes, and it's just like they cook a different thing basically every day. Public transport was the problem for them. I see. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Having, I mean, having a vehicle would probably make more sense, but um, it depends on what you're doing and what you need to do. Anyway, that's gonna be it. I've said I'm, I'm gonna leave like four times. Thank you so much for joining for a moment. Peace, y'all, so much. Goodbye. Pizzeroni, Pizzerino. Oh, an hour and a half to get to the nearby town. Yikes. Um, have a great day. Get some sunlight. Hug a cat. Uh, do a push-up. Read a page. Have a good day. Peace, y'all.